Hello everyone, how are you doing on this Friday um, afternoon now, isn't it? The morning's just shot by. Um, so the, um, the narrative continues to look shakier and shakier, doesn't it? We've now got, um, you know, we've had a year of, or over a year of flu doesn't exist. There's no such thing as flu anymore. But now it's all set to come back worse than we've ever seen it. Oh, it just, as my lovely um, colleague Sylve says, uh, the desperation reeks. It really does. Um, I think more and more people are definitely um, stopping and to pause and um, look around a bit and question um, whether there's any sense um, to any of this, which uh, clearly there isn't. Um, but, you know, still, um, with the constant bombardment, um, which obviously is ramping up and ramping up all the time, precisely because the wheels are coming off, in my opinion, um, it can just feel very, very intense and, um, you know, the sense of urgency can really take over, um, it can really impact how we're living our life, how we're feeling. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to say, like, don't underestimate the ways in which they lose all the time. Um, every time we're not feeling fear every time we're doing things choosing things that bring us joy that bring us together with each other every time we laugh every time we just act as a normal human being they're losing because that is the one thing that they are desperate to to suck out of us is any kind of um positivity connection um any kind of joy um it's all about fear and that's why we've got um you know when you look at these so-called experts um who are wheeled out repeatedly and so-called scientists they're psychologists this is a psychological operation and it's all about instilling fear. So every time we're refusing, I'm not saying that we won't feel fear. You, you know, you can't um, bury your head in the sand and pretend you're not fearful when you are. But it's actually feeling it and then allowing yourself to move through it and to, to not spiral into it. We all have those moments, those kind of spikes Um where, you know, some something's happened, we've heard about something, we suddenly have a moment of, oh my God, what if this, that or the other actually comes to pass? And it's totally normal um, and understandable to have a fearful reaction. It's just if we're staying in it all the time, that's what they want. So, of course, you know, all the the protests and the actions that we're taking are absolutely vital but also alongside that is how are you living your life are you still able to appreciate how beautiful nature is and how many wonderful things there are in the world and in our lives it's so easy to just lose sight of it and be wholly focused on this situation but it's kind of it's still an overlay all those lovely things are still there um and you know it, it's not inappropriate to to enjoy yourself and and to have fun and you know I'm not talking about being completely irresponsible and pretending nothing's wrong and that's not what I'm talking about at all it's um Hello, Cairns crew, lots of love to you too. Um, it's it's just re that refusal to go along with what they want, which is to be in a permanent state of fear, anxiety, 
you know, the, your amygdala is basically fired up the whole time. Um, it's that fight or flight or it or paralysis response. Um, so yeah, anything that we're doing that's coming from a place of love, you know, when we are handing out the flyers and the leaflets, when we are on the protest, when we are taking these actions um, that are really serious and have, you know, tremendous impact, like the guys um, serving notices on schools, absolutely amazing. When that's coming from that place of power, of this is wrong, this is what I'm going to do, and it's not this quaking fearful you can see it you can see it in the people doing this that kind of that is sovereignty that is sovereignty that you're seeing right there and that's what we need to be stepping into and also um allowing ourselves to yeah to to enjoy enjoy what we can it's people have gone through horrific things you know all through history and often the only thing they could control was their feeling, their response um, to what was going on around them. And I've mentioned it before about people in, in the concentration camps, incredible stories where they've known that maintaining their um, vibration, their um, outlook to, to refuse to fall into hatred and fear... Um, They've, they've come through this, like, just things we can't even imagine. We all have that power. It is a superpower. It really is. We're all creating our reality. And, and the incredible thing is that when you do change how you um, see the world, the world you see d changes. It does change. Um, so, yeah, I just felt like um, I wanted to say that today um you know don't don't beat yourself up if you feel you know you're not getting anywhere we're not getting you anywhere or we're losing just remember every time we are our authentic selves true human beings they're losing they're losing they're losing in so many ways in so many ways so don't give up, um, have a wonderful weekend, find joy in anything you can, um, obviously let the fear and the worry and the anxiety be there, but don't let it take over, don't, don't drown in it, don't let it perpetuate, because it is, it's like a vicious cycle once you're in it, accept it's there, allow it to be there, there's nothing wrong with it, and you know, move on and do whatever it takes, you know, make those connections, get down to your stand on a Sunday, I've just been receiving so many wonderful messages about what the stands have done for them, um, on that emotional level, um, the support, the friendship, it really is just as important as all the other stuff, because these are the things that empower us to do what we need to do from that place of power and righteousness and love. And that's what will, what will get us through, through this. We'll get through it together. So, yes, lots of love to you all. I'm going to... I'll just quickly show you. I couldn't show you in my last um, stream. The hoodies are in. And um, I couldn't show you on the back. So on the front, you've got embroidered the a stand in the park logo and then on the back there you go you've got i stand for freedom i stand in the park so i'm going to be getting those up on the website you can just go to the website and there's shop and um yeah i'll, I'll get those out on social media as well so just give me a shout if if you're interested so, yes, lots and lots of uh, love to you, Kel, Kellogg's profiteering, <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> yeah, this whole thing has only been about profiteering, not just trying to uh, survive and pay bills whilst working uh, 16 to 18 hour days on this, but yes, thanks, um, lots of love to you, I will speak to you soon, have a great weekend, Mwah.
Take care. Peace.